Bob Carr's given his maiden speech to federal parliament, setting out his priorities as fighting climate change and promoting tolerance and human rights. And the new foreign minister already has a minor international incident on his hands, with the US Central Intelligence Agency denying claims from billionaire miner Clive Palmer that it's attempting to destroy Australia's coal industry. Political correspondent Tom Eagleton reports from Canberra. Four days out from the Queensland election and the state's opposition leaders distancing himself from one of his biggest supporters. He's got nothing to do with myself in this campaign, I can tell you that. The environmental activist who Clive Palmer accused of being a CIA stooge is threatening to sue. I'm a fifth generation Queenslander. I'm a proud Australian. The Greens were also a target for Mr Palmer's conspiracy theory that America is trying to destroy the Australian mining industry. It just goes to show that you don't have to be smart to be rich. But now Mr Palmer's backed down from his attack on the Greens, saying Bob Brown's a patriot and his party sincere in its aims. Maybe I'm not 100% right and I'm sure they're not 100% right. I'm trying to broaden the debate, he explained to an online newspaper. But he's still pointing the finger at Mr Hutton as a covert US operative. I mean, if Clive were to come down here now and, uh, and apologise and, and say, you know, he got it wrong, then I'm quite happy to, I'd be quite happy to accept the apology and, and leave it at that. I'm not a great fan of litigation, unlike Clive. The federal opposition's trying to laugh the matter off. <laughs> Look, he's a character. He's a larger-than-life character. But the government says it's no laughing matter. The total contribution to the coalition now from Mr Palmer is over $4 million. But it couldn't resist comparisons with a bumbling Hollywood secret agent. Well, do you know what this is? I believe it's a photograph. I do have to wonder whether, for, whether perhaps uh, Mr Palmer has been watching too much Get Smart. He certainly, <laughs> certainly is working very closely with chaos over there. Order. Punchline was predictable. The Leader of the Opposition should be calling Mr Palmer and giving him a dressing Order. down the for attorney this general sort of behaviour. And he can use his shoe phone if he thinks that's a better idea. Seat. The most concise reaction to Mr Palmer's claims came from the CIA itself, which told the ABC... <laughs> simply put, these allegations are false. It could create the impression that somehow we're a risky place to do business, where you've got such a formidable businessman so close to Tony Abbott talking about a CIA plot to wreck the Australian economy. You're going to have investors thinking, woo. What's this? Senator Bob Carr. The Foreign Minister's Mr. tonight given his maiden speech to the Senate. This is my last territorial claim. I'm an Australian <laughs> Parliament. At but some points, he evoked memories of his predecessor. I've sometimes asked uh, Chinese politicians, as we've talked over dinner, what was your favourite dynasty? At others, his grasp of the international debate. I remember King Abdullah of Jordan saying at a Davos conference in 2004. But Mr Carr displayed a weaker knowledge of local affairs when interviewed on the ABC when asked about the death of a Brazilian student who was tasered by Sydney police. At the reception we had uh, just now, I saw the Brazilian ambassador and I expressed my heartfelt condolences, asked him to pass them on to the parents. It's been widely reported both the students' parents recently died of cancer. It's the second gaffe for Bob Carr, who recently threatened to cut aid to Papua New Guinea, only to later back down. Tom Miggledon, Late Line.